Alright y'all, so this is going to be a little bit different because although I did watch the first two episodes of this season of Basketball Wives, I just really want to talk about Jennifer and what the fuck is wrong with her because that's just overshadowed everything for me. I'll touch on the other stuff, but I got to get this out the way. In the first episode, Jennifer, you was going around saying, yeah, what was said about Shaq and Shawnee was wrong, but it ain't like that ain't the type of shit he do. So why she even mad? And I'm really trying to find out why exactly you're going around trying to press everybody's buttons. Like you being a bitch, like a super bitch. And it's really just not making sense. And then in the second episode, you want to accredit all of your foolishness to the fact that you lost your mama. I understand it's traumatic. I have not lost either of my parents, but I've lost all of my siblings. And bitch, I'm not out here terrorizing nobody. At the very worst of it all, I just distance myself from people. Extremely. But I'm not out here being a bitch. And if I am, it's because I'm just being a bitch. And I'm guessing for the sake of camera time, you just keep showing up. Because you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the majority of these bitches don't fuck with you no more. And you just keep showing up to Shawnee's heart event. To, to the goddamn sit down with the... Like, you keep showing up. What the fuck? And you don't want to own up to a bitch ass thing. You want to make excuses. You want to cry. Or you want to bitch out and just lash at people. Like, you got to find a gray area. You got to find a place within where you have to be accountable for some of the sh All of the shit that you doing, mama, for real. You went from trying to blame it on Tammy to saying it didn't happen to this season. Oh, well, it ain't like... It's just so far beyond the truth. Mama, you, you you got some work to do. Work that I don't even think Iyanla can help you with. You, ooh, you need to sit your ass down. Maybe reality TV just ain't for you because you a pretty girl. But I guess how else are you going to make your money because you have no employable skills. And I don't, I mean, but you dress okay, so I'm pretty sure you can come out with a fashion line that the girls will buy, but... Either you need to change your ways or get the fuck off reality TV because this shit is not looking good for you two seasons in. Like, bitch, you came back last season and all this shit was going on. Now you coming back this season and you ain't trying to make no amends or answer to nobody. And when you do answer to somebody, it's all, oh, it's because of it. Like, you never point the finger at yourself. Mm -mm, I'm sorry. I've never lost a parent again, but I'm not finna blame a dead person on why I'm acting out. And for this long. Now, okay, for the first three months, okay, you just can't get yourself together. You acting like... But at some point, you got to snap back into reality and be like, wait a minute, this is not who I am. I'm hurting people I love. Tammy and Reggie, um, don't really got much to say. I don't blame them for eloping because you don't need everybody in your business. However, your daughters needed to goddamn be there, so... Yeah, Tammy, you was wrong for that, for not even letting them know that you was going to go ahead and elope. And if it was a spur of the moment thing, I would have just caught, nah, I wouldn't have just did that. Especially knowing that they would want to be a part of it, so, eh. But I'm glad y'all made peace. OG still bumping and pumping for a baby and for a ring. Next. Kristen and Cece. This is tough, but it ain't really tough. Yeah, Cece should have went around telling everybody the business that you don't even know yet, okay? If you're not invited, bitch, you need to know that you're not invited for the whole world. No, you're not invited. So, yeah, I get you on that front. And I'm guessing that may have made you feel a little bit embarrassed. But, mama, did you not go out of the country and spray this woman's fiancé? Y'all live down the street and y'all never come. You did that with no problem telling that to the world because you was in the moment. But it ain't okay when it's done to you. Mm-mm. Y'all rolled Cece a little bit too hard for that one. And Cece, I'm gonna need you to start speaking up, mama. Catching tears and trying to run is not gonna get it. Not on basketball wise. Y'all are grown ass loving hip hop, basically. Like, y'all have or oh, ghetto housewives. That's what y'all is. Y'all are ghetto housewives. And I say ghetto very loosely, because they be fighting on Atlanta housewives. They be fighting on all the housewives. Come to think of it. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, CC, you gonna have to grow some motherfucking skin. Cuss they ass the fuck out. Even if you can't fight. Cuss Carly. Cuss they ass the fuck out. Oh, but do y'all be having security? Y'all have to. With Evelyn on set, bitch, y'all got... With Tammy... No, Tammy didn't calm down. But with Evelyn on set, 
yeah, I think y'all got security. So, bitch, mix it up a couple times. But, yeah, y'all, that's why I didn't really do a review last week because it really wasn't giving much. And me talking about Jennifer took, what, five minutes and I tried to wrap it up with the rest of the people. So, other than that, wasn't really nothing going on these two episodes. So, I'm going to keep watching. And if something get good, then, bitch, y'all going to get a full review and regalia, bitch. But until then, I'm just going to go in with these little five minutes and we going to keep it pushing. Make sure you are commenting, liking, and subscribing. Same place, same time.